We need an ambulance, the police, and a fire department. A fire department? Yeah. Any old fire department will do. We need to find out about Heidi's call to Paul without letting the family know what's what. No problem. She fell! Oh, you God. have let her into our lives like it's no big deal. Oh, yes, it is. It's a big deal. Go to your it's desk. It's a huge deal. And I'm going to tell you something when you're already at I'm your sorry. desk. How much Remember this moment. Because you're going to regret it. Toodles. <laughs> Come on! What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, we got to talk. I get lonely when you're off with all your special f***ing friends. <laughs> it almost worked. Any other ideas? Yeah, a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> what about my cheerleader? <laughs> oh my what about my cheeseburger? Range it. I'm heading back. Get my dad to find our drive through guy, get us both off the hook. Word. <laughs> God. Other side. <laughs> Take my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, that was bad, Lugie. Sorry. Can we go again? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you are okay. so dead. Action. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't hit girls. <laughs> girls can hit you. Where's the remote? Back up. That was a great one. How did those shoes end up in Mabel Kuntz's possession? Huh? Is that right? How did those shoes? I said Mabel. Mabel Kuntz? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Here, you can... <laughs> well, you met Terrence the day of the bus crash. What well, 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 yeah, well. <laughs> It's Terrence Cook and, uh... Uh, who's that? I don't know who that is. <laughs> it's Terrence Cook and, uh... Miss Dumas, the journalist. It's not journalism. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take from the top. Journal journalism. You said journalism. Let's do something normal fathers and daughters do. Buy me a pony. I was thinking I'd watch TV and you'd wipe my feet. I was thinking I'd watch TV and you'd clean my f off. <laughs> Take five. Renting cars is a basic human need, like eating or sleeping or trying on shoes. We're like the minstrels of old. I think about these things, okay? We're like the minstrels of old, going from town to town, maybe singing, maybe entertaining people. People need that, the way they need to rent cars. See, I'm thinking about these things in my off hours. What are you thinking about? You're not even here when you're here, okay? I'm here. I'm doubly here. There's two of me. I'm in the front, I'm in the back. I'm working here, I'm helping them. Why? Because there's none of you. Maybe you should just think, what can I do better? What could be better about me, about Stacy? Stacy, who works at Lariat, who works for Lariat, okay? Who is a Lariat girl? Oh, we got things to do. And you're on a tight schedule of smoking pot and playing. <laughs> Halo. Loretta, you already owe me four full service freebies. Now, if you keep this up. <laughs> I practically peed on myself waiting on you. Where have you been? <laughs> you peed on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad he waited to leave the room before he peed his pants. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it. I really didn't. It was just in my head. Damn it. I'm sorry. That's okay. We know how to get even. I'm going on her show. What show? Answers from Angels. It's Madame Sophie's public sacket. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was a throw in with a bunch of Simon Garfunkel reunion ticket things. 
Okay, keep rolling. Please sit down. We're going to go right into another take. I'll explain later. Why? <laughs> Still, the Oliveras has lost their son. Good. That was the idea. <laughs> <laughs> There is a long and proud history of mutual back scratching between private cops. What? <laughs> Sorry. One more time, okay. There is a long and proud history of mutual back scratching between cops and private dicks. Sorry, okay. <clears throat> carbon polymer cable that goes all the way to space. Oh. I did that, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, damn. <laughs> was that eggs? That's gonna be a long elevator. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty long elevator. Is that real? <laughs> Wait, was that real? Wait, what's going on? Is it real? Let's put a barbie shirt on. Oh, stinky. What's that smell? <laughs> That wasn't me, it was my <laughs> Is there any way you can find out Gia Goodman's cell phone access code? <laughs> <laughs> you came at me like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. <It> was... <clears throat> you look like Heidi. He <laughs> said. Oh, it's the least Big Pat can do after leaving me all those pervy voicemail things. After leaving me all those pervy voice machine messages. After leaving me all those pervy messages on my answering machine. Oh, it's still not right. Okay, here's my thing. My girlfriend, she rented, it's, she's not my girlfriend, just my friend. I mean, we share a dorm room, but whatever. My boyfriend just fled the country with my dead ex-girlfriend. Hmm? Why don't you have your boyfriend come over after dinner? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Daddy. How could he come over after dinner? <laughs> oh, I, I sort of got his hopes up about you doing his phone. Mm -hmm. Sorry, can I go? Yeah. Are you gonna tip over or do I have to spill it out of you? What? Out of you. <laughs> Peace. Out.